The table shows population data for two small cities. Represent this data on a graph where t represents the number of years since 2010 and p is the population. The values for time on the x-axis indicate how many years have passed since 2010. So t equals 0 represents 2010. And t equals 19 represents 2029. There are two points for city A. Point 1 at 2, 34,000. And point 2 at 10, 38,960. We can now draw the line for city A. Moving on, there are two points for city B. Point 1 at 2, 29,170. And point 2 at 10, 27,410. We have plotted both points, so we can draw the line for city B. Now we'll move on to part B. Determine the slope of each line. What does the slope tell you about the growth of each city? Let's calculate the slope for city A. Plug in the values of each point into the slope formula. Simplify the fraction. The slope is 620 people per year. The rate is people per year since population is the dependent variable on the y-axis and time is the independent variable on the x-axis. Since the slope is positive, people are moving into the city and the population is increasing. Let's store the slope beside the line. Now we'll find the slope for city B. Plug in the values of each point into the slope formula. Simplify the fraction. The slope is minus 220 people per year. Since the slope is negative, people are moving out of the city and population is decreasing. Let's store the slope beside the line. Now we'll move on to part C. For each city, write an equation for population as a function of time. Let's find the equation for city A. We'll use slope point form since the y-intercept is not easily read from the graph. Plug in the values for x1, y1, and m. We'll use the first point to get x1 and y1. Multiply 620 through the brackets on the right side. Bring minus 34,000 across the equals and change the sign. Simplify the equation. We are asked to write this as a function. Population is the dependent variable on the y-axis and time is the independent variable on the x-axis. The function is p of t equals 620t plus 32,760. Let's store the function beside its graph and clear our previous work. Now we'll find the equation for city b. Use slope point form since the y-intercept is not easily read from the graph. Plug in the 
Plug in the values for x1, y1, and m. We'll use the first point to get x1 and y1. Multiply minus 220 through the brackets on the right side. Bring minus 29,170 across the equals and change its sign. Simplify the equation. We need to write this as a function. We'll use p of t equals minus 220t plus 29,610. Store the function beside its graph and clear our previous work. There is a minor problem here. Both graphs are called p of t. We can fix this using subscripts for each function. We'll use an a for the first function, since that refers to city a. And we'll use a b for the second function, since that refers to city b. We now have two distinct functions. In part d, we'll predict the population of each city in 2029. Let's find the population of City A in 2029. Plug in 19 for T, since 2029 is 19 years after 2010. Evaluate the right side to get 44,540. In the year 2029, City A will have 44,540 people. Now we'll find the population of City B in 2029. Plug in 19 for T. Evaluate the right side to get 25,430. In the year 2029, City B will have 25,430 people.